Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's video. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, we're going to do some Lightroom quick tips, specifically about the crop tool. Uh, one of them, I think, most overlooked tools in Lightroom or any edit editing program. It's such a powerful and in some ways simple way to make your photos stronger, to tell the story you want to tell by eliminating parts of the photo that don't work as well in the photo. So we'll talk about the crop tool. Before I get into that though, I wanted to ask for your help. If you have suggestions for other topics you'd like to have in this uh, Lightroom Quick Tips series, uh, please leave them in the comments below and we'll get to those as I occasionally do these Lightroom Quick Tip videos. Uh, but the, most of the time we'll still be returning to our street photography videos, but today the weather is not cooperating, so we're gonna do a Lightroom Quick Tip video. So hope you're all doing well. Here we go. We're gonna start with a couple photos and show you how the crop tool works and give you some tips and suggestions about using the crop tool in your photos. So here we go. All right, so here we go with a couple photos to edit using the crop tool. Uh, one of the things I wanna point out in the crop tool is some of the additional features besides being able to crop the photo. So let's get started here by working with the crop tool, which is in the toolbar in Lightroom Classic. Uh, right below the histogram, it's the second tool from the left. If you like to get to it quickly, the keyboard shortcut for that is just the R key that will get you to uh, the crop tool. So you'll notice when the crop tool opens, it places this overlay on top of your photo. And this overlay is by default, the rule of thirds grid. Uh, you can change the overlay uh, to different styles of cropping or arrangements of composition. So to cycle through the different options of the overlay, just hit the O key on your keyboard and it will cycle through the different variations including you'll get to the golden spiral, golden ratio one, as well as some cropping for prints and other sizes, and then a smaller grid here, if you'd like to use that for more detailed alignment. So I'm gonna to return to the uh, regular rule of thirds grid, and let's talk about a couple more things about the crop tool itself. One thing is how it crops the crop behavior. So when you drag a corner, click and hold, it can behave in one of two ways. One, it can be locked as mine is currently. So the aspect ratio of width to height is staying the same. You can lock that with the padlock over here in next to where it says original, which is the ratio. And then uh, the padlock will lock it. If it's unlocked, then you can resize this any way you want. But when it is locked, you can resize only to the proportions of the original. Uh, when it is unlocked, you can still constrain to the original proportions by holding down the shift key and then dragging uh, any of the handles and it will keep the proportions the same as the original. Speaking of aspect, you can also crop this in different uh, ratio. So under the original here, we have a bunch of different options. One to one is square uh, for US print size here, eight and a half by 11, five by seven, and so on. Then we have some screen ratios here. And additionally, you can create a custom ratio uh, for whatever you're working on. You can just enter the dimensions and that will then create a crop to that dimension. So kind of handy. So uh, with that in mind, I'm gonna lock this back up. I usually keep it locked and let's get started with cropping. So one of the first things I do with a photo is to crop it. Uh, look around the edges, find any things that might be distracting, or in this case especially, the photo is a little crooked. An additional function of the crop tool is to straighten. In fact, you'll see at the top here, it's called crop and straighten. So uh, let's crop this and straighten this photo. Uh, what I wanna do is remove some of the, on the left and right side, these vertical elements. And then obviously it's crooked here. I wanna get rid of this gap. I'm gonna use the top of this beam in this church as my top of my frame. So I'm gonna start with the crop. I'll start at the top right, just do that. Okay, that gets me lined up with the top of the frame. Next, let's go ahead and straighten it. And to straighten or rotate in the crop tool, you put your crop, your cursor outside of the crop area and it changes uh, cursor shape to a what looks like a double-ended 
curved arrow to me. And then you click out here, hold, and you'll get that small grid. And now you can align, use that as an alignment tool to help you find where straight is. Uh, this photo is typical of many photos. Uh, there will be possibly multiple things that you need to try and straighten. So pick the most obvious element as your straight line. Uh, once you have this straight, as I have here, uh, you can see there's, it'll give you a measurement over here. You could directly enter a measurement for the rotation angle as well, if you knew it ahead of time. And now what I wanna do, I have my uh, crop aligned correctly. Now I wanna move it into position. So to move it in position, just place your cursor in the middle uh, or anywhere inside the crop frame and just click and hold and you can redirect and move, slide basically where this is. I still need to come down a little bit at the top by the way, once you start cropping, you'll realize when you fix one problem, you might introduce another. Uh, over here, I've got a little gap uh, in this window that's bothering me, these little gaps here. Uh, cropping, everybody has their different preferences for how they like to crop. So I'm just gonna crop into the corner of that. Uh, this is not too bad. I just wanna get rid of this little gap here. So we'll crop a little bit that way and something kind of like that and then we'll slide back up a little bit so that feels a little bit better so i've straightened it i've changed the crop and once you're done and the crop looks the way you'd like go ahead and you can uh, commit the crop by hitting the return key uh, clicking on the crop tool again that will turn it off or if you click on the edit basic panel it will take you out of the crop tool as well Here's one of the cool things about the crop. You don't have to get it right the first time. Like most things in Lightroom, you can undo, you can change your mind. So all those elements of the photo that we removed with this crop are still there. So if I reactivate the crop tool with the R key, you'll see all that stuff is still there. So if I wanted to change my mind, undo the crop, I could do that as well. Another cool thing in the crop tool I'll show here is you can change the uh, orientation completely within the crop tool. So I can, this is a landscape photo, a horizontal, I can change the crop to vertical just by hitting the X key. So that I'll make it take the same proportions, but instead of whatever orientation it is, in this case horizontal, it will change to vertical. So I'm going to hit the X and now I have a vertical crop of this same photo. And then again, I could adjust if I wanted to uh, to get this crop to work better as a vertical, but that basically covers how I want it to be. And if it doesn't, sometimes when you go back and forth as I just did, it messes things up. So you can just hit the escape key and that will undo to back where you were. All right, so that's a quick look at the crop tool, some of the basic functions, some of the power of the crop tool and the uh, abilities within that tool. So let's talk a little bit more about using the crop tool. Uh, one of the cool things about a crop tool is, especially if you have a higher megapixel modern camera, somewhere in the neighborhood of 40, 50, or 60 megapixels, the crop tool almost gives you two lenses because you can crop in and basically have a more telephoto look with any of your existing focal lengths with the crop tool and still have amazing detail, amazing uh, image quality because you have so many megapixels to start with or meg pixels, megapixels, pixels. You have lots of dots to play with. So that's a little bit about the crop tool. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, it's a tool I use really often in my photos. Uh, again, especially for straightening, uh, because I don't know why, but I cannot, for the life of me, make a straight photo, even with the level that shows in my viewfinder, I'm still off and off by a little bit. Our eyes are very perceptive of uh, slight angles when there's straight lines, even by about a half a degree, so uh, go ahead and correct that with the crop tool. So that's a quick look at the crop tool. Hope you found it helpful. If you have other suggestions or things that you think I missed in this video, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to have a conversation. Always glad to learn more about all the tools and capabilities in Lightroom. So uh, again, I hope you found this helpful. I look forward to seeing you in a future video. So until we do see each other in that video, I hope you stay safe, stay well, and have fun creating photos. Bye for now.